a hey everything looks good it looks like we're live i was not expecting this much chaos uh for myself when i decided to stay but here we are it's a very different stream setup from what i'm used to some of you may remember that i moved on to linux uh, a couple months ago, after getting fed up with some Microsoft nonsense and Dragon Quest monsters, oh, just quietly. Hey, what I found out, my Elgato game capture is not compatible with Linux. It is the first thing that I've run into that would not get to work on Linux. I'm streaming from a laptop right now. We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, that's nice. How's the audio levels, everybody? Audio level's good? Hope so. Tell me if they're not. You guys in there. Five of you here. There's Tazo. What's up, Tazo? My setup is so janky right now. I was not prepared to be doing this today. <laughs> I am happy with it. Tazo? Sound level's good? Volume good? Vertical camera... Yeah. Yeah. I prefer... Bastard. Matter too much. Volume indeed good if the tiniest bit quiet. When tiniest bit quiet, I'm going to assume you mean game. Add up a little bit. Let me know if it needs further adjusting. Do not be a f I mean, Taylor Peter. Hello, hello. Thanks. Upper sword emote. God, I regret putting that in. <laughs> Play your character voice. Get to hear what Pissarro sounds like? Pissarro, I guess? I should just call him Sorrow. Voice language. Oh. oh! That's a good question. You never know how the English... It's a real treat. Like, Dragon Quest VIII, Dragon Quest XI, and other times... My mic seems to be cutting out every... Often. Good to know. So that's probably my noise gate. Try something. Try something. Like that make it like that had made it work. Definitely like that, it made.
Plus ten. Oh, I see. How about now? That seems like it's better. That seems like it's better. Let me know if I still need to adjust it more, but I think this is good. Who is Daisuke Ono? Voicing Sorrow. I don't know who that is. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave it on English. Let's see how it is. Voice autoplay. No, let's go ahead and leave that off in case I get interrupted. Lord knows I get interrupted a lot. Does that seem better? Great. I've got laundry going behind me, so, like, I absolutely have to have the noise gate on. Because otherwise it's just cacophonous. Oh, he voiced Beowulf in Skullgirls? That's awesome. Wakey, wakey, lad. Like in the Japanese release of Skullgirls? Man, how often do you get to see ceilings in Dragon Quest games? <laughs> it's only me, Royston. You were moaning and groaning a fair bit. Bad dreams, I take it. This game has a weird filter on it. Has anyone else no noticed that? Like, it's a bit fuzzy around the lines. One has been the voice for Sorrow since the first Heroes game. Well, that'd be the first time he's been voiced, right? Oh, you know what? There's probably... They probably did some audio dramas for DQ4. I bet they did. I wonder who did it then. And I haven't... Oh, oh god. Okay, the camera's a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. I guess I don't have... Oh my god, he moves so quick! Wow! Can seriously not interact with any of this stuff? Curse! Curse! Okay, good. We, we can still break <laughs> pots. <laughs> That's the most important part. <laughs> if I wasn't able to... Like, I can't check out these bookshelves, and that's throwing me off. Right, I can jump. It's got, like, that weird, janky Dragon Quest X jump. So long as there's, like, no platforming, I, we should be fine. Okay, you can use the bumpers to also turn your camera. Pink speech bubbles are back. Good news. Dude, it, ev I tested so many things and I just did not consider Testing my capture card, of all things. I hadn't done any streaming from my capture card in a while. There was a DQ4 audio drama, but Sorrow wasn't in it. Interesting. Yeah, I know, I, I'm not surprised that there is an audio drama. I think I actually have that. 
and I just haven't gotten around to uh, uploading it to YouTube. Can we climb? Well, graphically, it's no Breath of the Wild. But the trees are certainly a bit better than uh, Sword and Shield. to go in the back? The bank. Hey, man. What do you reckon? Monty. No, it definitely doesn't look like a current-gen game. This looks like... And I'm, I'm being gentle here. This looks like an early GameCube game. Maybe, maybe a bit better. It looks like a 3DS game. That's what it looks like. Like, the models, I'm seeing, you know, more polygons than the GameCube models would have probably had. I'm, I'm thinking about it, like, comparing it to, uh, like, Fantasy Star Online, or, uh, which I guess that was a Dreamcast port. That's not fair. Guys of Arcadia, that was also a Dreamcast port. Um, <laughs> what's a GameCube game that wasn't a Dreamcast port? <laughs> Actually, does it look a little bit worse than Twilight Princess? That'd be hilarious if they just used the Joker 3 engine. We've got you to thank for that magic barrier protecting Rose Hill. What? Rose Hill. What was the name of the town that the hero solo starts in? In four? Or is, does this town eventually become the town in four where Sorrow is keeping Rose? You don't think it has a name? It must have a name. I feel like I've heard the name Rose Hill before. But there are a bunch of references to Rose in 4, because she was an important character, so I might be overthinking it. It's also been a long stinking time since I played 4. Everyone in the village is grateful to you. To think you just wandered in lost one day, and now you're like family. Truth be told, you're no, we're no closer to finding a cure for your curse than the day you came. Which is why I think it's time to try a new approach. That approach is... Hold on a minute. Where did I put my blessed notes? Hey, what's a poor Blumenek? Don't tell me. I thought. I had a barrier up and the monsters couldn't get in. Okay, so when they did the reveal video, and this isn't me like trying to be negative or anything, I am excited for this game. I'm gonna be playing this regardless of what the graphics look like. When they did the reveal video, I thought that these would be like, placeholder models or something and it would start to look better <laughs> I 
but no. No, I think Joker 3 engine might be the winner here. So your blight is back again, are you? Well, I'm not stunned for it. <laughs> this one's no pushover. Man, Zachariah, you got owned. Who do we have here? Can't you tell from his hair? He's the main character. You look like him. You smell like him. No doubt about it. You're the one our master seeks. Ooh, I forgot to put a delay on my voice. Hang on. Get away! You you can't do it. Sync offset. I'm gonna say it's like 150 milliseconds. What I noticed is that when monsters are at a distance in the overworld, their animations play at like five frames. That's also the case in DQ10, a Wii game. Did the Joker games do that as well? Gosh, um, it's been a long time since I played Joker 2. I have videos up for Joker 2. We could certainly test it and check it. Why not? It's your lucky day. A certain important someone wants a word with you. <sighs> what? What the? Right, my darlings. Kindly let these wanky monsters know they've outstayed their welcome. You guys didn't even fight. You didn't even try to win. You just, there was opposition and you gave up. I knew we'd be having unwelcome guests again, but I just didn't expect them quite so soon. Hmm? You're keen to know who these monsters are? Well, I'll tell you all about it later. First things first, we need to tend to the injured. And I've got just the monster for the job. This way. Balthazar, hello, welcome. Where were we? As I'm sure you know, this isn't the Brit, first hello, hello. How am I finding it so far? I still haven't really done anything. We've just kind of been in cutscenes. Um, visually, it's disappointing as a Switch game. It looks better than Sword and Shield, but not by that much. <laughs> it, it looks like uh, a GameCube or a 3DS game. We've all banded together and fought them off. But each time they come back stronger. We can't hold them off forever. Now, 
you're going to it's not to gonna kill the experience for me you're going to have to become a maybe the game is just gonna be like so chock full of content that it'll be easily forgivable Do you know what but it's is? weird you know because the last switch game I was playing was breath of the wild and that came out years ago. <laughs> what also bothers you is that even though it's visually lacking, the performance isn't spectacular. It's disappointing. Hadn't... I, I thought they'd been using uh, Unreal Engine lately. Haven't they? their monstrous troop I just know you'll be a natural lad after all it's in your blood why don't I get you started with one of my little lot I'll ask you a few questions and I'm sure we'll be able to pair you up with the perfect monster would you say you prefer lovable monsters to more rugged types um, well, see, there's a problem there, because on the one hand, I love slimes, but on the other hand, I love golems. So, I don't know. <laughs> like, both? Both are good. <laughs> yeah, right, Balthazar? I'm, I'm in the same position. We've had nothing since Joker 2 here in the West. I know Joker 3 was a thing, but... That, even that was a while ago. Meanwhile, the Pokemon games have just been getting lazier and lazier without any actual competition. This is our first chance at competition and... <laughs> it's, it's, it's not pretty on the eyes. <laughs> I would say Dragon Quest VIII on the PS2 looked better. You know? Like, that's kind of what I, where I'm standing right now. And I don't know, maybe that's just rose-colored glasses? Sure, I like lovable monsters. Why not? And do you like more compact, compact monsters? monsters? Like small ones? Sure. Oh god, you're right. I made a, another rose pun there. Rose-colored glasses. We'll all play it no matter what, but Monster Tamer fans will look at this and say, nah. I don't know. They've been putting up with Pokemon for a while. They might look at this and be like, yeah, it looks about the same. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> it's not a compliment, though. <laughs> But yeah, like, oh, see, the, the Fright Bulb looks good. How come everybody else looks like garbage? This is the nicest looking thing I've seen in the game so far. Are you happy with this monster? Treat him well, won't you, lad? Were they added in DQ11? They were definitely in DQ11. I don't know if it was their first entry. Because it's also entirely possible that they popped up in like a Joker game. It does look like it's from a different game. It's, it's so crisp compared to uh, everybody else. Oh man, what are we naming the Fright Bulb? What are we naming the fright bulb? We need a plant pun. We need a plant pun. Y 
You named yours Bulba Slime? That's a good one. I was thinking of something Bulb. Jack-o-lantern. No. Night Fever. Bright Day Night Fever. That's, that's such a freaking stretch. I like it, but I think it's too long. <laughs> Get out of here, bot. Where's my ban button? There it is. Poopy plant. Do I have any mods on? Oust. Oust is here. Oust could have done that. Ghost in the bulb. That's that's alright. Venus flytrap. That's not a pun. Hang on. How many how many characters can I do? Sixteen? Leaf me alone. Ah? 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 <laughs> I can feel the groans through the internet. Oh, I got I got that works. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm good with it. <laughs> with the amount of synth that's usually in, doesn't play into the lantern. There's there's no lantern here though. It's just a fright bulb. It there's actual lantern monsters. This is not one of them. <laughs> It's going to be so hard coming up with consistent names, though. Because Dragon Quest monsters, like, Pokemon, when you're playing through it, you usually don't cycle that many monsters through your team. And Dragon Quest monsters, on the flip side, you are constantly synthesizing new monsters. So coming up with new names is going to be really rough. <laughs> Looks like they've taken a shine to you. They better have. I'm the only thing in this room that's got close to his fidelity. Now, it's time you learned the ABCs of monster wrangling. Let's head out of the village and get... That's good, Balthazar. I'm going to need a lot of help keeping up with all the pun names we need. Man, this is weird. I did not have... When did this get announced? Old Bulbarian like Barbarian. No, that is good. I wasn't thinking of it like that. I, did, I didn't catch it. I'm sorry, Brit. <laughs> now then, let's turn you into like, a monster. Okay, so artistically, this is a very visually interesting landscape. Uh, Fidelity-wise... It's not great, but art direction wise, certainly leagues ahead of Sword and Shield. I can't speak to Scarlet and Violet because I haven't played them. Uh, too many disappointing Pokemon games in a row, and I think I'm done. That's right. I was naming my DQ2 mon or DQM2 monsters after chats. And you did keep asking me to breed you, which was one of the more inappropriate things that has happened on this channel. Scarlet and Violet are much worse than this overall. Wow! That's shocking. I thought that they'd kind of get it together after... Uh, sword and shield and the flack that they caught. Lights, camera, 
Who's there? Hey? Did you did you say something? Right, I heard about the glitches. I've seen some incredible glitches <laughs> for um, Scarlet and Violet, but I haven't actually like seen full gameplay of it, so I, I didn't know how it actually looks. Oh, right. Uh, mind saying it again? These old ears aren't what they used to be. Action! I'm here to make you a star. <laughs> what about? No. Who are you? You're a pretender. You sit on a throne of lies. Who are you? You're a natural kiddo. I can see it now. Workshop your skills with me, and you'll have your name up in lights. Great voice acting, though. I am loving this voice. Nora. I see you're still as daft as a brush, Fizzy. Fizzy. Make a the, really, really good voice acting. I love Fizzy's voice. Right. Fizzy here may be a Roman, but she's a first-rate instructor of monster wranglers. I reckon I can leave you in. And Monty's certainly of fine. Right. I'm gonna head back to shop. Drop by once you've finished your training. God, that slime looks so good. And then, uh, I forgot what those are called. That doesn't look good. But the, the, the horny hair looks good. They're all over the place. Like, some of the monsters look good, and then the other ones look bad. Like, Fizzy looks good. And my Fright Bulb looks good. The slime looks good. Until you zoom out and then he starts getting that weird fuzziness to him. curious how the scouting is going to work in this one. I hope it's not like Pokemon where it's, um... Blah. Based on life. Gubert. You scouted a monster already? I tell you, kid, you're gonna go far. All right, one more time. With Leary. If you want a monster to join your squad, you can either use a show of force, or you can simply defeat them in battle. If they get back up once the fight is won, then they want to team up. Really? 
Wait, so we don't have to scout them? We can just beat on them? And they might join us? I'm saving Gutrude and Gudian for other slimes later. Okay, so we still have monster treats. It's a much lower chance you expect. Well, then it sounds like you don't know, do you? <laughs> Well, yeah, that's how it used to be um, in the in like Dragon Quest Monsters One. You just fought monsters, and then occasionally they would join you. But it was always—I think it was just the last one defeated had a chance of joining you, and you still had to throw um, monster treats at them to increase their chances of joining you. Well, let's let's not assume that it's going to be the exact same system because, like, you know, the difference between Dragon Quest Monsters 2 and Joker 2 and scouting there is very different. Let's let's experiment with it and see where we wind up. Now it's summer. Feel that Cause you you got to keep in mind that monsters has not stagnated as far as um, it hasn't stagnated mechanically like Pokemon has. You know, the, the monster games are very different from each other. They, they have, you know, some consistencies like with uh, synthesis being a focus and with um, some of the typing and breeding stuff. But even within that, like, they, there's a huge variation in how the Monsters games play. Hard to stagnate when you don't make a game in a decade. <laughs> That's true. Ivy. In summer, the greenery gets a growth spurt. Okay, there is climbing then. Okay, I kind of want to change my camera controls. Wow, hey, Goobert got fully healed. Okay. Um, I know what a menu is. Thank you, game. Camera controls. Let's slow that down. Actually, go ahead and just restore default settings and see if this just feels better. It does. The stump jump! Now let's just beat on him a little bit. So the slime had 28 hit points. Let's beat him up for two rounds. Or, oh no, he, he melted. <laughs> Maybe he'll get back up? Negative.
Okay, cool. We got smoked sirloin to throw out monsters. Good stuff. Bunny corn. Horny hair? Bunny corn. Bunny corn. What's the other one? Almirage or something? Almirage? I'm gonna hold on to that meat. Oh my gosh! That was awkward. Getting on there was awkward. <gasps> what are you? Oh my god, look at him! <laughs> A Vigandragora? That is the best thing I think I've ever seen. Oh my god, is there a plush of this yet? Holy crap! I want one! Leave me alone. I want you to attack. Gubert, uh, you seem to be murdering things, Gubert, so I'm gonna put you on defend. This is my favorite monster design since the magic pig hat. This is incredible. The Kendra Gora. <laughs> uh, no, don't be irritated at me. Don't do it. I don't. I don't want him to, though. Hubert? Hubert! Yeah, ham sandwich, mad magic pig hat, that guy. You know him. Talent points. Oh ho ho ho! Okay. Okay. Oh, I kind of like that. Interesting. Zap Ward. I can see that being very useful. Frizz. They give him some guy. Yeah. Ah! <gasps> yes! 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 I don't know what to name it. It's so cute. What do I call you? Derpo Marks. Not bad. I feel like we can do another. The problem is, it's already an amazing pun. Like, I don't. Do, can we improve on Vagandragora? 
<laughs> it's it's so good. <laughs> Venusaurus, no. Vegemite? Oh, I like that. We're going to do that. That's a good one, Brit. The other one that was here disappeared. Okay, we got a pretty pebble. I wonder, does the spawning work like it does in DQ3? Can I just like turn the camera to make it think I'm not there anymore? Doesn't seem to. Another one popped up just now though. He's sleeping. Just beat on him. So you have full control over your monsters in this one. Oh, I can't just do like full tactics. Okay. Yep. Yep. I know. Okay. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. I wish I could just do like a general full party. Order. Oh, good. It gives you a little check mark to let you know that you already have it. Oh, do I have talent points? I probably have talent points. I don't have talent points. I to be named. Hua! What do you want, Goose? What? Frizz was highly unnecessary. I want Vegemite to gain a level, so we can throw some points in there. Hubert is violent. I didn't think the most vicious member of my team early on would be a slime, but here we are. If I find a jail cat, name it Johnny. It's, it's a little too on the nose though, right? Monster munchies. Cool. We can bribe further creatures that we beat up. Is there a quick... Nothing to center the... Ca oh, no, there it is. Okay, R3. 
Bunny corn. We don't have a bunny corn yet. Oh my gosh, I thought my laptop was making a super loud fan noise because I'm totally streaming from my laptop right now. <laughs> because I did, my capture card only works on Windows. My laptop is, uh, is killing it though. It's doing amazing at streaming this. Meanwhile, my desktop, it, ever since I got to Act 3 on Baldur's Gate, it just hasn't been the same. I hear it. The fans are going so hard on it. I've cleaned it out. I've changed the uh, the thermal paste on it. And it's just, it's working so freaking hard these days. Okay, what have we got? Sis Aficionado and Sleep Suppressor. That could be really useful. I, I wish I could... Oh, there we go. Greatly increases resistance being put. Restores a small amount of HP after each action. Ooh, I love that. I love that. That sounds like a, a stall build. Fizz, Dazzle Flash. Blind, good. Undead Undoer, cool. Magic pop. King. I'm kind of liking this guy. He seems kind of like a, a hard to kill support. You know? We're going full tank. Full tank. Yes. Absolutely. Go to the bank. Or I guess we've got room for four now, huh? All right. All right. We need a good bunnicorn name. And unfortunately, bunnicorn and horny hair are already taken. Watership, okay. <laughs> what was one of the name of what was the name of one of the rabbits from Watership? No goose, there's no room in my lap. Harold. Okay. <laughs> it's it's so bad I laughed at it. We have to use that. Why is Harem in my recommended on my Switch? What have I been doing? On my Switch? Not much. <laughs> Miguel O'Hara? That's good. That one's good, too. Right, we do have four spots. Jump chomp! Don't despawn. He despawned, guys. I don't have a stump chump yet. 
Oh man, it takes them a while to come back. There's one. You! Join my team! Woundwort. That would have been a good one. job, Harold. Yes. Join my party. Is this on 3DS? <laughs> it's not. It just looks like this. <laughs> it just doesn't look good. <laughs> It's fine. It's <laughs> visually it's very interesting. <laughs> um <laughs> what are we naming the stump jump? <laughs> oh wait, no no no. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I'll be the first one to make the inappropriate joke. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family channel. <laughs> Fargoth's hiding place wouldn't fit, but I appreciate the Morrowind reference. <laughs> Yeah, but Morning Glory is a flower. <laughs> hey, Oro, Good evening! Look, it's a new Dragon Quest Monsters game! <laughs> Who knew? I'm sorry, is it fall already? Here we are in autumn already. You'll find heaps of leaves all over the place at this time of year. Knock yourself out. Go investigate. What say we regroup at that big waterfall at the back there? How, how quickly do the seasons change in this game? Oh my god, so many monsters. Wow, that is awful. Their frame rate at the di at a distance. Okay. You attack the slime. You, you little murder moppet. I want you to not do anything. Oh, nice! It gives you little lines to remind you of what they're doing. Uh, Vegemite. Go ahead and attack the Wobergine. Herald. I want you to chill. And we're going to throw monster munchies at the Wobergine. I like that he ate the food and liked me more, all without waking up. <laughs> Wake up, you! Oh, he's still asleep. Or 
focused on the slime first. I don't know if it works like the older ones, where it's the last monster. I suppose I could have attempted scouting him. Ho 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 ho, what? Inactive monsters also get XP? Oh, he's in reserves. I don't think... I think reserves is separate from the bank. I don't know that scouting is affected by HP. Um, I haven't really thoroughly tested it yet. What have you got? Naturalist and HP booster. Whoop. Okay, so he can become very tanky if we want him to. I can see that. I, I bet that talents can be bred. I see that being a thing. Now the question is, can you get new talents? So the, they're obviously going to have their own like talents when they're at a base. If you breed two things together that both have HP booster one, do you get HP booster two? It didn't work like that in Joker, or at least not Joker one and two. I don't know how it worked in Joker 3. I think there's room for it. I don't know if they're going to do it that way. I like the idea of possibly having talents combined to form new talents. I don't know if that's a thing. What are these? Heartbreaker, stuns, or his accuracy. Oh my god, he's got Hatchet Man? So good. And Warcry. <laughs> and Tongue Lashing! Oh, we could have named him Nevin. Yeah, sure thing, Abyss. All right, so we didn't get our Wobergine, but there's another one right over here that we can beat up on. Okay, so I don't think it's how much damage he's taken. It looks like it's based, it's, one, it's of one of the stats that these monsters have. What am I naming my Wilbergine? Eugene, not, not bad. I think you don't like eggplant. Love eggplant. Eggplant parmesan. Delicious. Name it emoji. I was thinking that. I was, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, I was already bad today, but if you're going to do it, it's okay. <laughs> Family friendly content. Woe is me. That's not bad. <gasps> oh, it's one of the... Oh, hi. <laughs> I was looking at the, the rooster.
but it's got to be a range because they got different numbers this time. Maybe it's some kind of ratio based on like my stats versus their stats. Didn't get more skill points. Emoji got some skill points though. So he's got Dancer. Oh, Dancer used to be really good. Might be based on attack power versus defense. Oh no, he's gone. I don't know that I like monsters disappearing from around you after a single fight. Draggy! There's squelch. We gotta grab squelch. What else do you have though? Splish ward. Splish. Water elemental attacks. Okay. Two cents by one half. That's good. Good stuff. <clears throat> Auto cadabra. Nice for staying power. Rain magic, of course, good. Sleep attack, good. Miracle slash, always good. Hero. So they uh they just kind of quietly released the demo today. You'll be able to transfer your save to the full release, but all of your monsters are going to be set back to level one. Sir Francis Drac would have been a great name. You're right.
Okay. So, right. It's seasonal. Certain parts of the map are only going to be accessible during certain seasons. But seasons seem to change very quickly in this. I'm curious if we're going to get a power that allows us to force the seasons to change. Like, um... What was that Zelda game on the Game Boy Color? Oracle of Seasons. I wonder if we're going to get something like that. I don't know that Sizz was necessary, but whatever, whatever, you guys did it. <laughs> More talent points for Vegemite. Now, are all of these just secretly tapas chums? They seem to be. Is there nothing else up here? Do all of you guys just want to fight me? Oh my god, the frame rate is terrible. <laughs> this is not an optimized game. <laughs> What is with games coming out in this state lately? Oh, God, it it almost hurts my eyes to turn the camera because the frame rate drops so drastically as soon as the camera moves. Hero, good evening. Yeah, I, I was so excited to try it out. And I'm enjoying it. Like, I like the game. Um, It is disappointing uh how poorly it runs and what it looks like we already had somebody come in and ask if this was joker 3 and then they're like wait is this a 3ds game that's more confusing <laughs> it's i have some mixed feelings <laughs> Did treasures run like this? Because I skipped treasures. I also have to point out, I'm playing docked. So, it, it's definitely not just that it's undocked or anything. Ooh, we got some meat. To be fair, it's a demo. It could get more optimized between now and release. Yes. Yes. But how often do you see demos 
in this state, and then the game is much better. This isn't an early access thing. This game is going to be out in three months. I do not envision them fixing a lot of this in three months. Because, remember, it, it still looks like it did from their announcement trailer. And yeah, I'm still going to enjoy it, and you guys, as Dragon Quest fans, are going to enjoy it. But... Uh, somebody pointed out a, a game that is poorly optimized and doesn't look good. It's not going to attract a new crowd. <clears throat> Sonic Frontier. Wow, I forgot about Sonic Frontier. Oh, and it poisons him. Fun. No? Dang it. No, 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 I agree. I am also happy to have a new Monsters game, but we also want to create new Dragon Quest fans. You know, we've been saying for decades um, that Dragon Quest Monsters is a mechanically superior game to Pokemon. But, you know, we should be putting out stuff that competes with it on a visual level. And I, I guess, in all fairness, this is competing with modern Pokemon. But we can be better than this. Temtem looks way better than this. And that is a tiny studio by comparison. I see it. There's like a clock up in the top right next to my mini map. Does that advance the seasons? Do the seasons just advance incredibly quickly here in the world of DQ4? I'm not interested in fighting you, Capus Chum. I want to fight this bantamweight. Keep getting screwed out of getting a bantam weight. Scout. More. Better than the last bantam weight. Yes, we got him. I recall these guys were pretty good. What are we naming him? What are we naming him? Give me a pun. This is going to be on Switch only. It has only been announced on the Switch. Doc a doodle after Doc. Chick fil A. Phantom Pain. General Clux.
Mm. Colonel Sanders. No, too obvious. Keep going. Keep going. Cluckinator? I feel like he's not dangerous enough yet to be a Cluckinator. Right now, I'm leaning towards Rockadoodle. Cooper? Hendrick? Ah, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Good job, Tazo. Hendrick out there somewhere just got chills like somebody just made fun of me. <laughs> so it's probably going to advance to winter yet then. Winter yet then? Winter next then. English is my first language. <laughs> and yet that happened. Cold in winter, and the water's frozen solid. <gasps> hey, I bet you could walk on it. No problemo. Wow, what a sight! The waterfall's turned into a block of ice. I wonder what's in that cave. I am shocked at how well my little framework laptop is handling streaming this. <laughs> And over Wi-Fi, too. Let's slip under that arch and see what awaits us beyond. The heck is Fizzy? Fizzy is the new Wadaboo. Ah, tacos. Oh, I didn't slide. Oh, excuse me, it's a calamari kid, not a taco. Scout! Yeah. Yes! I wonder if they doodle in the sand if you uh, leave them. So Good lord, you all probably heard that. What am, what am I naming calamari kid? And Tickle, Woodward, Taco Tyke. Taco Tyke is good, but I think we're going to say we should we should earmark that for an actual taco instead of a calamari. How about Cuddle-ish? How's that? Feeling that one out. I hate the Twitch delay. <laughs> Twitch delay is terrible. I got an aw, I got an eh. Squilliam? You know I like Squilliam. Let's do Squilliam. No sliding on the ice. Disappointed. For you. What's oh, an anteater? An anteater thinks it's Sonic the Hedgehog. An 
Ant Guzzler. Okay, well, we know what we're naming him. Antagonist, not bad. It just ends combat altogether. Wait, what is... What was that? That seemed important. There's a little marker for it, too. I don't understand. That's, yeah, that's interesting. There isn't any music when it's winter. I don't think I like that. I, I think that there's an opportunity for some interesting wintry sounding music, something with like crystals. Like if it were nighttime, Maybe, but it's just, I, I hadn't noticed it until you pointed it out and now it's bothering me and bells. Yeah. Joker 2 have a nice location? For a nice location in Joker 2. Then again, I do not remember much of Joker 2. Yeah, we got we got no music in winter. You can't slide on the ice, and that's just that's video game tradition. I'm not saying, like, you know, make it like a Pokemon-style ice puzzle where you step on the ice and then you shoot off in a single direction and don't stop until you run into anything. Just give it, like, a little bit of slide. You know, make the movement a little fun. It doesn't have to be, you know, a major part of the game, but... You know, the little things like that add to the uh, the experience and the immersion. Where 
Where can I save? Okay. Okay, good. I can just save anywhere. Good, good. Good, 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 good. I need to rem remember to do that. This game doesn't seem to be one of them auto-saving types. See, the <laughs> disappearing again. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Curious. Maybe we'll get something related to it later. What if it's an underwater monster? Maybe? Hulk, Debilitation Ducker, Oh, that's early. That's an early Helm Splitter. And Slime Squisher. I wonder if Slime Squisher works on metals. I like having the four slots and then also four slots for reserves. I wonder if you can call in reserves when one of your main monsters goes down. That could make for really interesting multiplayer fights where you're dealing with a total of eight slots on each team. Splish some water magic, guys. Have we had a water elemental spell in Dragon Quest before? Four slots was a thing in Terry's Wonderland. Terry's Wonderland 3D, which I didn't because we didn't get it, but the original Terry's Wonderland, no, no, it wasn't. Defense down from Helm Splitter could possibly help with scouting. Yeah, if it's comparing the stats, maybe. I forgot about Tidal Wave.
there were the guys. That, yeah, okay, the the water guys in nine. I was thinking, uh, wasn't there a tidal wave ability in seven also? Oh. Uh, golly, you showed up early. Hey, man. Oh, we get special music. I probably shouldn't have done this. Not even allowed to scout him. Is. Go for Frizz. Sandstorm for sure. Oh no! Guys, I made a mistake! <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Run away. Uh oh. That was, that was brutal. Okay. But it's also nine o'clock. I've been playing for an hour and a half. So it's time for me to get ready for bed. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Good to do some streaming again. Great to have a new Dragon Quest Monsters game. I'll uh, I'll see you all next time. Take care.